today we will explore the new Rig Expert Match. This is an upgradable unit which um, the base unit come, goes up to 70 megahertz and then you get the next one, next upgrade which is the advanced. That'll take you to 230 megahertz. Uh, and then the final RF engineers or the RFE upgrade will take you to 500 megahertz. Each upgrade will allow you to see more features. This one, unit has been upgraded to um, 500 megahertz. Right, so what we have over here is we have the handbook that comes with the unit. There's a USB cable, very nice silicon USB cable. And for this demonstration, I have made a little parallel tune circuit 5 to 40 picofarad. Not quite sure what the Henry's are of the little coil, um, but it's not much as you can see. And then we've made, fabricated for ourselves, a coupling loop as you'll see in the video, uh, how, what role this plays um, in the testing of this parallel tune circuit. Alright, uh, I won't take you through all the features of the tester at this stage, but we'll get through them in su subsequent videos. I will now demonstrate how we can find out the resonant frequency of this tuned circuit. As you can see it's a simple uh, variable capacitor, 5 to 40 picofarad, and I'm not quite sure exactly what the Henry's of the coil is, but it'll be somewhere pretty low. Right, so we can put it into SWR mode, and that's a previous sweep, so let's just get rid of that. Now, what we can do here is we can actually change the sweep span. I'll take it to 5 megs. I know it's around about 35 odd megahertz, so we'll put it into sweep mode, and I won't couple the coil at this stage. We'll get a straight line across the top there. So it's in SWR mode, and ideally we want to have a, a suck out type response. Now, coupling is quite important here, so if we don't get the coupling loop exactly um, at the right spot, we have to then sweep it a second time. So we'll do that now, and we'll bring the coupling loop into circuit, and see what happens. Oh, there's a little one there. Okay, so we'll keep that one. Now, what we need to do is we just need to open up the span of it. So we can do that by pushing that button there, up and down. And this will change the frequency. We don't have enough points there to make it really a nice looking trace. So we're at 200 kilohertz. And I think that might be a bit optimistic. We've got a 500 kilohertz. And we'll sweep it again. So we push the OK button. Don't push that one because that'll get it into repeat mode and it just writes on top of each other. So we push the OK button and we'll see if we can get a good coupling in here now. I think it's down this side, it might be better actually. Let's just move that across. Right. Okay, let's do that. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, you just have to love that. Alright, so we've got a trace there and we'll just move this across here. So we can see that this has the best match at um, 35.49 uh, megahertz and that will be our resonant frequency. Now, just to prove that this is the way it should be working, we'll just change this and push this capacitor down a bit and increase the capacitance. I've done it very slightly. Now that should move downwards. So we'll sweep it again. quite sensitive actually. So you can see it's moved the trace right down to the um, lower frequency and we can find out what that is by pushing this button here. Oh, there we go. That's gone down a couple of hundred kilohertz. Alright, so that is um, how you would tune a, a, a trap, a parallel tune circuit and you'd be looking for the best match coupling with a simply, um, simple little coil, pickup coil that I made, coupled to the top of the, um, of the tester. Right. And keep watching because we'll explore more um, of the features of this unit.